Hi everyone, uh, this is a short little video looking at using Inkscape to create some custom callouts that you might be able to use um, when you're making a comic book. So, first thing we're going to do is open up the program and import an image. And I'm going to use one that I created earlier uh, using GIMP. Now, um, Inkscape is a free program that can be, I'm embedding this image by the way, um, that can be downloaded uh, online for free. To keep this the right aspect ratio, I'm just going to hold control as I drag so I don't stretch or squash the picture. Now to start off making my call out, I'm going to use a rectangular tool here. And I'm just going to draw that across the top of my page. Now, at the moment, we've got some nice curved edges already. When you first create your rectangle tool, it'll probably look a little bit closer to this. What I did to give it that curved look there was clicked on Edit Paths by Nodes, and I dragged the small circular corner down to get the rounded effect that I was after. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that for now. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is find the tool Draw Bezier Curves in Straight Lines. There's a bit of a whistle there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get my little speech indicator. Now using the Edit Paths by Nodes, I can come back and I can sort of play around with that a little bit to give it the nice curved effect that I'm after. So let's just swing this around a little bit here. Maybe twist that around a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to give that a fill color, which is sitting down the bottom here. So fill currently none. And I'm going to select that as white. Uh, if you want to change the outline, you need to double click on the stroke down the bottom and go through that menu. Now, the next step is to join these two together. And to do so, I first need to hold shift and click both and select them and come up to path and create a union so joining both of those together now from here it's into the text tool to uh, enter your text so let me just enter something as an example here for the moment um, let's say something like this tongue is heavy now that's not quite fitting in there yet, but if I just select that text, I can use this little resize tool to drag it across and fit it in there. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, you could use standard callouts using other programs, but what I like about this is that you can go ahead and you can have multiple callouts uh, linked through creating your own sort of custom uh, design ones. So let's see if I can quickly give an example of that here and link these up. So I'll fill that one with white and select this one here and fill that with white as well. Um, now I probably want to give these a little bit more of a curve to make them a bit more interesting. I can drag the corner here Oh, it doesn't like me. Let's come back to that one in a moment. Okay, and let's put a little curve. Over here. Come on, be nice to me. Oh, he doesn't want to play today. Alright, so let's select those by just dragging around or we'll hold shift and we'll go ahead and path, create a new union and you get the basic idea. Next thing you can do is add in your text and um, go about creating your cartoon comic. Uh, saving, you need to come down and export as a bitmap to turn your project back into an image. And that's a basic rundown of Inkscape. Thanks for watching.